since Star Wars Droid wasn't the hit it was supposed to be, it took three years before the next Star Wars game got released. Players could use their Nintendo Entertainment System to take them on an adventure in that galaxy far, far away. Flying as Luke and his speeder on Tatooine, searching caves for important objects like a lightsaber and shields for the Millennium Falcon, just to defy an asteroid field to lay waste to the Death Star? This was Star Wars for a new generation. With a new hope as its biggest source of inspiration, Star Wars follows the movie's storyline in its core, but took some liberties to create an even more interesting game. Scenes are expanded, new encounters are introduced, and Luke's adventure brought more diversity and backdrops to fight in. Remember the big scene where Luke has to rescue R2 in a Jawa Sandcrawler while searching and killing everything in his way? Well, the game does. While adventuring, you had to rescue characters and fly to different planets to achieve your ultimate goal, ending the Empire with the destruction of the Death Star. If you weren't fast enough, the Death Star was able to fulfill its destiny and destroy Yavin 4. Game over. Star Wars was longer than any other game in its license and pretty hard to beat. Only the best players saw the ending of the game. They were the true Jedis in this story.